River rats, it's tough to uh, beat delicious things like fried pheasant. I probably eat too much fried stuff. But if you're wondering why, sorry. But if you're wondering why I don't take Woody fishing more often, kind of a scaredy cat. He's, he's afraid of weird things like cooking. And here's some proof. He doesn't even want to come inside. Ooh, it's bright out here. It snowed a bunch last night. It's post front, bluebird skies, not the most ideal conditions for fishing, but I got some time, so I'm gonna go out and try some new spots and hopefully catch something, so let's go. All right, I finally got moving. I was busy editing a video, hopefully that you guys will enjoy. I'm gonna take spud bar, ice picks, and wear a floating suit and take my time one step at a time as I check the ice. And those are three things you should take pretty much every time you're on the ice. Well, that's surprisingly thick. Guess I'll grab the auger. It's the thing with ice fishing, it's kind of like crossing the road. If you cross the road with your eyes closed, it's dangerous, but you take a spud bar, you take the necessary precautions, test all this stuff out. It's not that thick. <laughs> not thick, they say that's all right, but you get a little variation in that, especially with current, and they ain't all good ice either. Changed my mind, I'm gonna check down here too. So this is the deeper area, probably where I would want to fish anyway. <laughs> Down I went. At least I had the snow to cushion my fall. Oh, is it thicker here? Oh, wow. Quite a bit thicker. We might be fishing. We ain't very far from the bank, but I don't know how deep it is, but we're gonna find out. Ooh, and that's why you bring an auger, or a, a chisel. Wow, a big difference. It's getting confident. I should never be confident on the river. Those two hits. I figured that'd be good stuff. And that's, I'm pretty sure somebody drilled that out. Absolutely somebody drilled that out. Freaked out there for a second. Thought I was on the edge of death. I didn't bring great bait, I only have frozen stuff. And not well frozen, like it was alive and it was in the back of my truck and it froze. <laughs> We'll uh, chisel off some pieces and get some jaw jackers set up and who knows. I'll show you how to set up a jaw jacker while I'm at it. Still can't believe how much ice there is. Solid five inches. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get these set up. Jaw jackers are cool because... Uh, not so much uh, any reason other than you get to set lines and when they go off, it's pretty awesome. Okay. Woo! Not exactly, exactly picturesque tropical conditions, but we are ice fishing, so if you're hoping for that, you're going to be waiting a while anyway. Okay, got her set in the holder. Need bait. Well, that's frozen. Weird, you leave something sitting outside during the winter and it freezes. But I do have a fillet knife. Yeah, this is just some shad I got last week. Snagged it when I was walleye fishing. Right there. I'm gonna cut him some strips. That's gonna be two baits right there. One on each hook. Scoop a little more gunk out of the hole, probably. And then uh, down she goes. Okay, that's pretty well clear. Anyway, so I'll let it down all the way to the bottom. 15 and a half foot of water. Got my hole, got my hole insulator. Put that on there. 
this just keeps it uh, from freezing up because if it freezes up, line can't move when you got a bite. Anyway, put her down here, hook it in the hole. You got this lever mechanism right there, right there, and you have a loop on the end of your line. And you put that through the loop, like so, and you flip that lever up. What happens is, fish pulls on that line, that flips down, trips the mechanism, flips up, hooks the fish, and uh, I guess you could say jacks their jaw. I would say it is appropriately named. Oh. And that happens every once in a while, and then you get to check your bait. Well, it's there. Back down she goes. The other nice thing about these whole insulating covers is uh, you don't really have to worry so much about a fish ripping a rod in the water. Dynamite is set. <laughs> Time to get another one ready. It's so cool when those go off. Now I'm debating if that's actually a fish because he's been down there for a while. Could be a fish. Hope it's a fish, but if I drop down there and get snagged, guess we'll know real fast. All right, we are uh, officially fishing. What I did here is I drilled my hole for my bait, and then I put my transducer down current so I can pick up my lure, because it's being swept out under the hole. There's not a ton of current, but I only got like a quarter ounce spoon, not even. I'm just tickled there's fishable ice here. Oh, there's something, something big. Well, it didn't exactly knock him dead, but real quick before my battery dies, I'll see you tomorrow. So I may have lost the battle, but I haven't lost the war. We'll see. All right, it is the next day and we are out here. New spot, new hopes. We even found a new fish that was down here in the bottom of this hole. And we got Corey. Corey, wave. Hi, oh, hey. Corey's good luck, I hope. If not, we'll probably have to leave him here. I always feel like I'm lighting off a firework when I do this. Hopefully that thing goes off here shortly. I left these in my truck last night and apparently there's a little water in the bottom of my sled because they definitely froze. Well, I suppose I, uh, I'll get to jigging them up. While we're waiting on you. I'm gonna go with the classic, the buckshot rattle spoon. I got on. Do ya? Different colors, but I don't know. know Mine's chartreuse. So if it ain't chartreuse, it ain't no use. Are you seeing any fish? Maybe they're scared of your ugly face. Same. Marking one. He's all on me. Got him. That's a good fish. Oh, stay on. Come on. Oh yeah. Kitty. Come here, kitty. <laughs> hey, Corey. Got him. Yeah, he just came in off the bottom. Sweet. He's got a weird check. You see his whisker? Yeah. He's um got a big one missing. A little derpy looking. On the board, man. On the board. I feel I've never fished this place before, so I feel like an accomplished angler right now. The moment of truth, do we keep him or not? Are we eating? I my food stuff's in my truck though. We'll let him have a lucky day and see how it goes. Yeah, I mean, we can always eat pizza. I have walleye in my freezer anyway. <laughs> nice. I think we're starting to wake him up. Maybe. Sometimes. Starting to come up take my mineral off. Sometimes you get them woke up, then they all wake up. All right, your lucky day, friend. Oh. 
Yeah, he's all tuned up. See ya. Oh, that was sweet. It's crazy how one fish makes you feel like it can happen. Went from marking nothing to pretty much still marking nothing, and now I feel like, you know, I might actually catch another one. Jeez. Getting calls from all kinds of losers. Yeah. Hi, Spencer. Hi, Joshua. How about now? Uh, yeah, I can hear you now. The speaker was too far away from my face, but it's probably because I was repulsed by my phone when I saw your name on it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh. Whoops. Brought one up off the bottom and didn't realize it. And then he disappeared. Whoops. Get the lucky Chex Mix. I ate all my lucky food before I could even get here. Yeah, definitely let me know if one shows up so I can put the camera on you. What? Is it gonna happen? Oh. <laughs> You're in fuego, man. <laughs> he just came off? He just came off at the hole. Did you see him at least? Yeah. Was he 12 pounds? Same size. Same size. Jeez. Say something intelligent. You just caught a stud channel cat through the ice. Not bad. <laughs> One for three. One for three? Mm -hmm. One for three will get you the Hall of Fame though. In some sorts. Yeah, in some, well, as long as we're not talking about my fielding percentage, we're, we're all good. We're all good, but starting to dial them in a little bit. I don't know, two fish. We'll find out. We will, we got all day, and I like this place a lot. <laughs> all right, this one gets to live to see another day. I'm officially jealous. Nice. <laughs> You're just in the right hole, I guess, huh? I haven't marked anything since that one I caught. Going micro. Playing with fire. Might be too much current, but we're gonna try it. We're averaging one cat per hour. That'd work, eh? Right? Could be a pile of them. All right, we're doing an experiment. I switched to Corey's spot and Corey switched to my spot. And we're gonna find out if it's the spot or if it's just me. Take your bets now. Well, the update is uh, not much has happened since Corey botched that one. Had a lot of snot run down my nose in the meantime. And uh, staring at flashers that don't have fish on them. Right there. Eat it. Got him. <laughs> That's sweet. All right, stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. Oh, he's so good. <laughs> They just come out of nowhere. The bottom just suddenly looks thicker. <laughs> not a not a quarry size catfish, but they all count. He was fun. I told him to eat it, and he ate it. Nice. <laughs> I like it when they listen. All right. Nobody listens to me, but he did. Catfish is lucky day. Caught me on a day where a pizza sounds real good. <laughs> yeah, when they hit it, it's just, I never even felt it. Kind of just looked down and my rod was bended, or bended, bent over. The jaw jackers remain silent. Honestly, 
this is not totally uncommon to uh, call them in and get them to bite and then your set lines don't do anything but it's not a terrible idea to set them anyway because uh, they get you some bonus fish I can tell you whatever I want Corey just said I can't ever tell him uh, he's bad luck oh what are you are you a catfish or a walleye? Suspended mark. I was suspend. Oh, he's still there. Oh, he's all over me. It's flickery though. It's like bait. Something. It came in suspended and was like flickering in and out. He didn't really engage with me though. I have so much snot that has dripped onto my camera. <laughs> in my sweatshirt as far as that goes um yeah I'm, we only had that one really crappy trip didn't we when did i ever tell you your bad luck On the only crappy trip. oh <laughs> that makes sense we've had some real good trips and you're you're the only one or one of the few people dumb enough to go exploring with me um, let's try this place i've never fished before Let's float by every place I know has fish to see if this one does. I get bored fishing the same stuff all the time. Feels like walleyes. My hole is icing up significantly faster than before. Kind of wish we had the shack, but I'm glad we don't have to haul it back. Oh! <laughs> And I wiped out. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> oh, yeah, there he is. <laughs> that, that was cool. That is cool when they go off. He's just a little guy, too. I'm uh, recovering. That was my thought, too. <laughs> I'm glad I moved this one. Oh, my hands are so cold now. They were cold before, then they just got... He's all... all right. It's so cold, I dipped him to 33 degree water and he was steaming. <laughs> Are you gonna take off, bud? I bet that was traumatic. Yep, see ya. Oh, I need to warm up my hands. Yes. Boink. That's where, that one was set right on the inside of the, like where it started to rise up on the sandbar. I can finally feel my fingers again. And they feel cold instead of numb. All right, I need more bait. I give you kudos, because you answer almost every comment on every video. I try my best to. And it's easiest to, re to get redundant. <laughs> Well, not not well. I honestly enjoy talking fishing. Right. But it's just a time commitment thing. The best time to do it is when I'm flathead fishing by myself, just sitting on the bank, and I'm just reply to every comment if I can get to them. I got a deal from YouTube that like gives you notifications on your analytics or whatever for the year, and I replied to twenty thousand comments on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be more fun to answer those questions and reply to the those things face to face but it's not realistic right oh he's still there and here i've been running my mouth all day catches up to you in the end it's definitely pretty exciting when they fill that bottom foot up on the screen though it's almost exciting enough for, to warm up my hands. It's definitely the least active fish I've seen so far today, though. I think the cats like the sun when it's cold out, honestly. I think it's time to order our pizza. Well, River Rats, I won't ever claim to be the best ice fisherman in the world. I can barely even talk. I don't even know what I am good at. I'm usually pretty good at running my mouth, but I'm uh, pretty cold right now. I'm good at eating. That's about it, but...
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, really do. And if you did, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Hope you catch a giant. Thank you.